Hello everybody, how are you? Today is Wednesday. Wednesday is the middle day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So that means we're halfway through the week now. So it'll be nearly the weekend. Let's start our lesson by doing our counting. You can join in with me and then we'll have a game of tennis. Are you ready? Starting with your zero on your hands. Here's zero. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Hopefully you were able to keep up with me. Now let's have a go of playing tennis. I'll start today, so it's me first, and then you say the next number. So let's start with zero again. Zero, two, four, Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty two, twenty four. 26, 28, 30. How did you get on? Did you manage to keep up? Well done if you did. Let's have a look at this. Can you show me five fingers? Five fingers. The quick way is to do it just like that, isn't it? That's five fingers. Can you show it to me on two hands? You could still do that if you wanted, but you can start to change it. Fold one down and fold the other one out. So we've got four and one. You might fold two down and have two up. So we've got three and two. That's another way that you can do it. And I bet you can find some more ways by folding down different fingers. Next one. Here we are. Oh, show me four fingers. I've done this already for you. Here we go. We've got four fingers with our twos. Two and two. That makes four. Oh, and six fingers. We did six on Monday in our video, didn't we? Five and one more. Five and one more. Can you think of a different way to show me six? If you start with five and one more, if you fold one down and fold another one up, you've got four and two. If you fold another one down, you've got three and three. And I bet you can find some more ways as well. Now, this is the turn, time, sorry, where you need to close your eyes and listen very, very carefully. Okay, sorry about that. I had to quickly fix the computer because the sound wasn't working. It's working now. So close your eyes and listen very, very carefully. See how many you can count. How many did you hear? Shout out the answer. Well done. Now let's try another one. Here we go. Close your eyes. How many this time? Call out the answer. It was five this time. Well done. And one more go. Close your eyes. How many was that? That's right. It was just one this time, wasn't it? Now, moving on very, very quickly. What is one more? 
Here we are, we've got four and one more is five. Well done. And there's the five. Here's the number one. What's one more than one? It's two. Well done. And we're going to have a go at doing our next part of our maths lesson. We're going to have a go at counting up to this number. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Today we're thinking about the number eight. And here it is. All right, so if we were writing it, we're going to write an S and do not wait. Back to the top, you've made an eight. So there we are. Here's some photographs and some pictures to show you the number eight. We've got eight o'clock on this clock. Can you see when it's o'clock, it points to the 12. And when we read it, when it points to the number eight, it's eight o'clock. I've got the eight numicon here. And in numicon, it's a dark green, isn't it? So look, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the number eight. This is a domino and we've got six and two more. So six, seven, eight. So it's the number eight domino. And here is the number eight from the number blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. We can also do eight on our fingers. Five, six, seven, eight. And we can do it with five and three. And last of all, we've got double four on these dice. Double four is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double four is eight. And here's the number eight in some places where you might have seen it before. You can buy cans of drink in a pack of eight. So there's eight cans of pop in this pack. Here's the number eight bus. Remember, it has the number on the front to make sure that you uh, get on the right bus. We've got some coins down here for when you go shopping. We've got the five the two and the one. So five, two and one, that makes eight pence. Here's the number eight. It's the eight of hearts if you're playing a game of cards. Now, on this sheet, which you've got in your booklets at home, I wonder, can you spot some different ways with the number eight? We've got eight with fingers, We've got eight with some cubes. We've got eight somewhere on there with the numicon. There's eight on a 10 frame. There's some eight beads. And can you find eight anywhere else? Now, I'll let you have a go at trying to find them. All right, so you can put a circle around them in your booklet at home, and then you can ask a grown up to help you to double check that you've got all of them. Come back again tomorrow for the next maths lesson and I'll see you then. Take care everyone. Bye bye.